In this video, I'll show you how to use the Active Campaign bulk edit tool to update details on multiple contacts like their tags and custom fields, plus more ways you can use this feature of Active Campaign. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make Active Campaign even better for your base businesses. Let's check it out. So as I mentioned, the bulk edit tool allows you to edit multiple contacts at once, uh, update details like their tags, custom fields, subscribe or unsubscribe them from lists, and it also allows you to enter multiple contacts at once into automations. So I'm sure you're already thinking of different ways you can make use of this. Yes, you can use this to send campaigns to multiple contacts instead of the campaign feature. Uh, we'll go over that in just a second. So let's dive right into how to use the bulk editor and advanced search as well. These are two features you'll be using closely uh, with one another. So going into active campaign, and I'll go right into our contacts at the top. So first, over here to the left of each of the contacts, if I click into multiple boxes and I hit edit at the top, you can see it'll say bulk editing three contacts. So that's one way to select multiple contacts to edit them is by checking the boxes next to their names. But that's not exactly the most practical when you have, you know, over 45,000, 46,000 contacts or more. Uh, you can't just be scrolling through each page uh, and trying to find the contacts. So maybe if you wanted to grab all the contacts and edit them all at once from this page, you can see this little box next to full name. And if I click that, it's going to check all the contacts on page one. If I go to page two, you'll see there are no contacts checked. If I go back to one, they're all still checked. So this is going to edit 20 contacts, all of them on this page. Now, if I uncheck that and I go up to edit all, that's going to bulk edit all of my contacts at once. So those are the different ways that you can get to the bulk editor. Now let's talk about using it in conjunction with search. So if you want to find a specific contact like this demo contact for myself, you can just search the contact and then edit them. But if we want to edit multiple contacts, we can use advanced search. Talk about using it in conjunction with advanced search. And then we can set our filters, or our conditions to find a certain group of people that we want to bulk edit, because typically we're not going to edit every single contact at once. And we're definitely not going to go through and search and click manually next to the boxes. Um, for a specific group. We typically go in with something in mind. So for example, maybe I want to find a group of contacts that has not opened the app launch email and tag exists purchase en wildmail. So now we can find all the people that haven't opened the notification about the wild mail app launch and have already purchased wild mail. So their customers hit search and then we can edit all of them. And here are the different actions that you can take when you're bulk editing. So you can add them all to a list. You can unsubscribe them from a list. You can add them to an automation. We'll come back to that. You can remove them from an automation. You can add a specific tag. You can remove a tag or you can update a custom field. When you click into these, you'll be given the option that coincides with the action. So which list do you want to add them to? Which tag do you want to add? Which field do you want to update? Which automation do you want to send them into? So for example, I can say update a field. webinar date and choose a random date and then click update, hit apply. It'll ask you to confirm your book editing 546 contacts. It can't be canceled or undone. And then you'll click this here. I'm not going to do it in this example, but you would just click apply changes to 546 contacts. Now, one way that we use this is to send campaigns to multiple contacts in an automation when it's not a straightforward uh, one off blast email campaign like a newsletter or product update. You can definitely segment and use a campaign feature. Um, 
you can use campaigns and then segment um, if it's pretty straightforward who you're trying to reach and it's like a one-off email or one-off email that's going to be scheduled but here's a case where we had the app launch like i just referred to and we first wanted to check for specific tags so we're checking to see that they have a trial account or they have purchase en wild mail because we're serving two different languages two different audiences so if yes they're going down the english path if no we're checking to see if they have a Spanish trial account or purchase in uh, ES wild mail, et cetera. And then we're going to send them down the no path if they don't meet these conditions. If they do, we're going to send them down the Spanish path. And we have this logic, first of all, conditional logic. And then we have a follow up email after a wait block. So it made much more sense to send this out as an automation. Uh, and then all we have to do, there's no start trigger because all we have to do is bulk edit the contacts. So back where we were, we would search using the advanced search and then we can drop them into the WM app launch automation. So if I go back to our contacts, edit all, add to an automation, WM app launch, you can select that add all of these 546 contacts that haven't opened their email about the app launch yet and send them back, hit apply and send them through so that they'll receive these emails. So that's one use case where you can use the bulk editor to actually send uh, campaigns via the automation feature. So that's one use case where you can actually use the bulk editor to send out campaigns to a specific group of your contacts. So just to recap, we've gone into our contacts, we've used advanced search, to pull up the group of contacts that we want to edit, we've clicked edit all and selected the items that we want to edit, which would be the tags, custom fields, adding them into automations, unsubscribing them from lists, etc. We click apply and then apply changes to confirm. And that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions around how to use the bulk editor, I just drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer those for you.